it, um, there is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him. Those are they what? that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Uh, yeah, when it says, uh, what is that at? It says, uh, that we follow the man. Something that enticed. So about temptation. It's a temptation. Yeah. Man, it's tempted by these thoughts of your pupils. Now you start letting them fester into making them into something that makes sense yeah. unto you. Then you go out teaching it like it's the word of God. Come on. Yeah, real quick, uh, get Matthew 15. And I believe it's around the. Uh, the 18th verse is uh, Matthew 15 and uh, verse 18. Uh, but those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, yep. and they defile the man. And what are those things? It goes into it. Matter of fact, because it, uh, it, it further goes into it. So Yahweh is going to break it down. Verse 19, for out of the heart. See, the Lord, this, this, this is one thing about Yahweh shot. Yeah. They would, they would uh, come to him with a carnal matter, and he would use the same principle from that carnal matter and expound upon it using spiritual things. The Lord was always spiritual. You know? You're talking about washing hands <laughs> when you eat. Because that makes you unclean. But what about internally? What about your spirit? Yeah. What about that? Inner man you ain't you ain't thinking about the inner man that's defiled and unclean? Yeah. You know? That's why hey, these these Christians, man. That's why we you Christians been taking a, 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 such an epic L this yeah. this past decade. You been you you you. <laughs> That's why a lot of people been leaving the church, man. Cause you been you you been full of shit, man. Yeah. Teaching a bunch of bullshit. Cause they always taught that 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 meant that the Lord was saying that. So if you eat unclean meat, that it doesn't matter. You yeah. all right. Yeah. So, when you had no idea what he was trying to say. You taking his, his you taking his speech out of context. Yeah. Just to justify your own appeasement. Yeah. They think everything is literal in the scriptures, and it's not. It's, it's, it's spiritual, and some things are literal, but these mysteries, is, a lot of the things is, is hidden, and they were spiritual. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I get uh, just, just about watching the word. I got, oh, I got a piece of it. Finish that, and then you, you can get it. Back to that, uh, Matthew 15 and 19. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, death, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile the man. Yeah, you you you, def you defile yourself. Like a man that commits adultery, what does it say? Like it says in our Proverbs. Lack of understanding. He lack of understanding, but not only that, he sinned against his own soul. That's a reproach that can't be wiped away. That's way more defiling than eating with unclean hands. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's way more filthy, man. Your spirit is, is corrupted. <laughs> you know? Men would, would uh, reprobate spirits upon them. A person with a reprobate spirit, they're, they're, they're not in fear of, of judgment. That's why they do the shit that they do. And, yeah. that, and that's really, that's a proud demon. Yeah, what reprobate means, well, avoid a judgment. Kind. Yeah. Somebody that's that's proud, man. Like, like a lot of these women, they jump from dude to dude because they're proud. And, 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 and judgment don't go forth. That's, and that's a, that's a defilement because now that demon is just a part of you. That's you. That becomes your way of, uh, yeah. of life. It's like, it's law to them, huh? you know? But you got people that really live by that philosophy. You know, you, you got a lot of people, uh, what, what they say in the world, uh, uh, what's, what's the saying, man? Basically, you got to let people have fun 
had their fun and, and uh, no, 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 it's a, uh, you only you only live one life. Um, it, it's all a type of slogan that, that people just buy, man. But it really goes back to their their um, their hedonism. When you when you know what, what hedonism is, it's, going, it's like a hedonism. Right, right, right. Hedonism, which is basically another way of saying uh, self in, self indulgence. You know, another way, instant gratification. Uh, another way that they uh, the scripture spoke about it was uh, epicureanism. Epicureanism. That's, that's the love of the flesh. You know? Live and let live. Yeah. You know. And that's how these women are, man. Girls just want to have fun. All that, all that, man. That, that becomes really like that's a philosophy in these people's lives, man. So when you live it like that, your your mind and conscience, your spirit is defiled. That's worse than any physical yeah. uh, defilement. Bacteria or anything yes. like that. Yeah. So that's that's the that's the, the, the that's the message Yahushua was conveying. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't be. Don't act like it's <laughs> it's worse to be clean physically than right. spiritually. <laughs> yeah. That just gets to the point. This is uh, Jeremiah two and twenty two. It says, "For though thou wash thee with thy tree and take thee much soap, yet thine iniquity is marked before me." Ooh. Okay. It's marked before me. Yeah. It's something that you can't. You can't erase it. You they can't wash it. That, that, that magic marker on there. It ain't coming it off. Ain't coming off. You put that UV light on there. It's like that. Y'all see all the stains and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, quick freak. Yep. This is uh, Sirach 34 and uh, 25. He that washeth himself after the touching of a dead body, if he touch it again, what availeth his washing? Yep. Right. Because it's like now, it's it's part of you. Yep. Like there's a scripture that says uh, in Apocrypha, all um, all bread is sweet to a whoremonger, mm -hmm. and it also says um, about a a, a, a a fire being kindled in a, in, in the, the body of a fornicator or a adulterer or something like that. Yeah. It's somewhere uh, in the Apocrypha. It's a but basically, like a like dudes that commit adultery and get away with it and get away with this shit. Nine times out of ten, he's gonna keep doing it until judgment. Because he's 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 into the feeling. He's into the thrill. I love that's what I want you to do. You know, like it, it becomes a part of him. That habit is is in him. Yeah. It's, well, it's not even just a habit. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's like second nature to him. It's second nature. Yeah. Dudes live like that, man. Like I, I, I don't even like I'm not even attracted to single women. Like I gotta have. Gotta I gotta have another another man's wife. She has to be dealing with another dude for me to to, to, to feel yeah. the, the thrill. Yeah. You know? There's dudes that's sick like that, man. Like, they're, like they're, there are people out there that really thrill that's gonna take a woman from somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's even in black culture hip hop right now. Yeah. You I know? take your bitch. Yeah, I, I fuck your wife and all that stuff. Yeah. Those words. Yeah. What did I quote it? Found it, come. Sirach 23 and 16. Two sorts of men multiply sin, and the third will bring wrath. A hot mind is as a, as a burning fire. It will never be quenched until it, until it is consumed. Yep. A fornicator in the body of the flesh will never cater. cease until we have fuel the fire. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh. We'll re read that again. That last part. The fornicator in the body of his flesh will never cease until we have been required. He ain't gonna stop until he started the fucking war. Yeah. We have all type of men wanting to kill his ass, man. That's because his his, his 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 mind is is, yeah. is far gone. That shit uh, that, that 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 shit is seared in his mind. Huh? What's the, what's the Greek uh, uh, story? Um, like Troy, but it's the Iliad. Spartacus? No. I think it's the Iliad. Iliad. Oh. Basically, where um, Helen of Troy got stolen by the other, uh, by, the, by the Trojans. Well, she was a Trojan, she got stolen by the Greeks or whatever it was. And that started the whole war. With, uh, with uh, Achilles and all them came down. Yeah, 
idea to start that whole war because of Rose over one. Because she snuck off with the other, uh, with the other guy and was doing that. And so he came to, to take her back. He right. started killing off all the people all the years, man. The Trojan Wars. Okay, now I believe that's based upon mythology. I don't know the, the, the accuracy of the history of it, yeah. but, but just showing you people that know uh, some of that Greek mythology that, that, that goes right into that. Yeah. See, that's why that's, that's why there's heavy importance yep. of these scriptures and knowing these uh, commandments, man. Because this, those type of demons get washed away when you come up under the baptism. You become cleansed by the word, man. We was all living in that lifestyle. Some of us might have had those kind of demons on us. Yeah. But we got washed. Okay? Now, now, now we're no longer defiled, man. Now we're now we're cleansed in Yahweh Shah. Okay. So those are just examples given. Good. Yeah, that's uh, Ephesians chapter five, verse twenty-six, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Oh, go from there to uh, verse Peter three. Three and like a uh, like twenty. 1920. First Peter chapter 3, verse uh, 19, uh, 20. No, no, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'll go to 20. It says, yep, it says, which sometimes were disobedient. This is for, you know how to do. Yeah, that's first Peter. Yep, it says, which, which sometimes were disobedient when once the long suffering of the Most High waited in the days of Noah while the ark was preparing were in few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Uh -huh. That's the one you want, right? Keep going. It says, but, it's just like it, uh, the like figure unto even baptism yep. do now also save us. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, mm -hmm. but the answer of a good conscience toward the Most High. Of a good conscience, a pure, clean conscience uh -huh. to the Most High. Yeah. By the resurrection of Yahweh Shabbat By the resurrection of Mashiach. Yep. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. And that's the real baptism. Yep. When you clean your spirit, mm -hmm. and how do you clean it? By understanding the words and the word of boundaries and the discipline to who are. Yeah, it is. Which the church, they, they never go that far. They just, you know, say a, 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 a fake a fake ass prayer. Yep. Dip and you then they'll dip you in some water, <laughs> take you out, and now all no. of a sudden. Wait, wait, you forgot. Do you accept the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Shit. You know? Yeah, man. <laughs> and then you go back to eating your pork hot dogs and shit. You know? Mm -hmm. Catfish fries. They doing that right after the baptism. Yeah, yeah right at, yeah, right after that, <laughs> you know. As soon as the service is over, then you know, they, they go out to, to eat. Yeah. And you know all the most abominable shit you can get mama's imagine. Grill house, you know. Take the boys and, fries and, shit right yeah. after that. and then the pastor even to take sister such and such and she married and shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. They you don't know? make a connection at the <laughs> Yeah. How this motherfucker just cleanse you and he about to go and get into some some dirt. He filthy than a motherfucker, but he uh, pretty clean. Really. Yeah. Hey, even in our law, before uh, the priest could even clean, uh, uh, yeah. make the sacrifices to clean people of their sins, he had to first do it for the second. Yeah, that's what the priest had to do. Exactly. Yeah. So he had to be he clean. Gone. He had to. He had to be pure. Like. Yep. When he came into the uh, holy uh, holy to, to sacrifice, I think at least for three days you couldn't be around with your, with your woman. Yeah. So I wonder how Alize, who say that you can have sex on the Sabbath, I wonder how do you keep the Sabbath holy? Because you're supposed to have the show bread ready every Sabbath, and you're not supposed to be unclean when you eat the show bread. Yeah, because they, they sweat and keep David off there. Yeah. Like, man, we're coming off the battlefield. So if, you, if you've been having sex all this time on the Sabbath day, bro. Man, right. it's like you, you, these guys like to get technical with the law. Yeah. But see, this is what they do. Yeah. This, this is why Yahweh Shai was calling, cussing them out, calling them out, man. <laughs> Going back to the very law where we just started from, yeah. you're not supposed to add to the word or diminish from it. These dudes, they, they, they do all this editing of the law just so that they can do what they want to do. Yeah. Establish their wickedness, man. Yeah. They set up a date because of the, 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 